Getting ready for a blood test? Wondering what you can and can't do before the test? Can you drink water before a blood test? What about soft drinks? Thinking about a small sip of coffee? How about a quick workout before a procedure? What about taking supplements or medicines? I know some of you might think these are just small things, they don't matter. But even chewing a gum can give you abnormal results for some tests. For some tests, you might need to fast for 8 to 12 hours. Because nutrients from blood and drinks get absorbed into your bloodstream and that gives you inaccurate results. Don't worry though, you don't need to fast for all blood tests. Some recent guidelines have even relaxed the fasting requirements for certain tests. Let's talk about the tests that do require fasting. To diagnose diabetes or pre-diabetes, doctors often recommend blood tests to measure your sugar levels like FBS, PBS, RBS and HbA1c. You only have to fast for FBS that is fasting blood sugar. At least 8 to 10 hours of fasting is required which you can do it overnight. That means you can eat till 10 pm, fast while you sleep and get a blood test done in the morning. One test I would like to highlight is HbA1c. So this is a form of hemoglobin in your blood that is attached to sugar. If you have excess sugar in your blood, more sugar is attached to hemoglobin that will result in increased HbA1c values. This measures your average blood sugar values over 3 months. So fasting is not required for this test. And it is also a great indicator of long-term sugar control for diabetic patients. Next, we have lipid panel. This test measures your fat levels in the blood. High levels indicate there is an increased risk for heart disease and stroke. The good thing is that recent studies did not find much difference in accurate lipid values between fasting and non-fasting individuals. They also found a connection between non-fasting cholesterol levels and the risk of heart disease and stroke. So you don't need to fast for a lipid panel. But this doesn't mean that you can eat a fatty meal and then go for a blood test immediately after. Fatty food will raise your triglyceride levels significantly and doctors might then suggest you a fasting lipid panel to check your baseline fat levels. So it's better to eat a light food before a test. Despite these findings, many guidelines still recommend fasting. So if your doctor advises you to fast, you need to fast for 10 to 12 hours, which you can do it overnight. Next is metabolic panel. A basic metabolic panel measures eight different substances in your blood, which gives information about your body's chemical balance and your metabolism. This gives an overall assessment about your health and how well your organs are functioning. A comprehensive metabolic panel measures 14 different substances in your blood, including the tests that are in BMP along with liver function test. You need to fast for 10 to 12 hours before this test. Next is iron test. This test is used to diagnose different types of anemia or iron overload and it requires 10 to 12 hours of fasting. Vitamin B12 test. For a vitamin B12 test, you need to fast for 8 to 10 hours. So what can you eat or drink while fasting? absolutely nothing other than water in fact you need to drink plenty of water it's easier to find a vein for blood draw when you are hydrated also if you're dehydrated in some people there will be increase in concentration of many blood tests including fats which can raise up to 10 percent or more resulting in falsely high values if you're taking any medications check with your doctor before stopping them and for supplements, if you want to check your routine levels, meaning if you want to know whether your supplements are working or not, you don't need to stop taking them. You can take a test right away. But if you want to check your baseline levels, you might consider stopping them for two weeks for iron and B12 and four to six weeks for vitamin D. Make sure you consult with your doctor about all the medications and supplements you are using. Avoid coffee, tea and alcohol during fasting because these can affect your blood sugar and fat levels. And no smoking or chewing a gum even if it's sugar free. Don't exercise before a test. It can speed up digestion process and can give false results. Remember, don't fast for less than 8 hours or more than 16 hours. And bring a snack or drink with you which you can have as soon as possible after your blood test. There are a few diagnostic procedures that might require anesthesia or sedation like gastroscopy or colonoscopy because they are a bit uncomfortable. Anesthetist might suggest you NBM meaning nothing by mouth for 6 to 8 hours. For blood tests, you are allowed to drink water at any time but 
For procedures requiring anesthesia or sedation, you are only allowed to drink clear fluids up to 2 hours before the procedure. This is to avoid complications from anesthesia such as aspiration. So you can have clear fluids like water, fruit juice without pulp, black tea and black coffee. Fasting guidelines are different for kids, so talk to your doctor a day before the procedure. There you have it. Follow these steps and you'll be all set for your next test. Stay healthy, stay happy and keep smiling through it all.